If you're considering a move to the Oregon coast and Lincoln City is a town that has caught your eye, you're gonna wanna check out this video. We're gonna talk about the layout of Lincoln City, what the town is like in terms of the neighborhoods from north to south, going through a map and talking about what you're gonna get in some of these different areas. And by the way, if this is your first time to the channel or you've been here and you haven't already and you wanna get more videos like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. All right, let's get it started. All right, let's talk about Lincoln City, Oregon. So Lincoln City, a very popular destination for people to move to when they're moving to the Oregon coast. Central Coast in Lincoln County, pretty close to Portland, about 90 minutes. So if you're coming in on Highway 18 here, uh, you come in kind of from McMinnville. Uh, it's a pretty nice drive. Uh, you come in from uh, 18 or from 101 South you get right into Lincoln City. And Lincoln City, you know, one of the larger towns on the Oregon coast, has a lot of great amenities. I think there are some pros and some cons for sure. One of the things in particular I think that a lot of people tend to gripe about Lincoln City is it really lacks a cohesive downtown area. 101, as you can see, Highway 101, this main Oregon coast highway, goes right through the heart of Lincoln City. Lincoln City is very long and narrow from north to south. And all along 101, you have commercial development. So this is where your shops and your restaurants are and your galleries and your breweries and, and all the great stuff that Lincoln City has to offer. But it's not necessarily walkable. It's not necessarily quaint. It doesn't, it's, it's not, uh, <laughs> It doesn't really have that kind of small little quaint seaside beach town uh, feel that uh, a lot of Oregon coast towns do. Uh, but what it lacks for, again, in that cohesive downtown area, it, it makes up for in so many other ways in particular. And I think probably the biggest draw to Lincoln City is look at all this oceanfront, right? So even if you are in Lincoln City and you are on the east side of the highway, you're a five minute drive to any number of public access points to the beach. And this is, you know, one of the longest continuous stretches of beaches on the Oregon coast. So the scenery, the beach, the beach access, the ocean views, you know, in so many areas in Lincoln City, really unrivaled, unparalleled when put up against uh, a lot or really all other Oregon coast towns. So we're going to talk about in this video the layout of Lincoln City, the different neighborhoods, what you can expect, uh, some of the diversity in terms of the type and style of living that you can get in Lincoln City. Kind of a quick overview, of course, if you have any questions about Lincoln City, get in touch with us, leave a comment in the video. But if you're thinking about you know, moving to uh, the Oregon coast, if you have more questions about Lincoln City or other towns, give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email. Click that link down below in the description of the video. Schedule a Zoom call with us. Either way, we would love to help with your move to the Oregon coast. Uh, so let's go north to south here. So you can see 101 on the north side of Lincoln City does kind of peel off from the coastline uh, a little bit. So you have the Cascade Head uh, in here. So this is a kind of a big hill. You go up and then down into Nesquin, which is this small little village. Really cool. Uh, you know, definitely has that quaint, quiet, laid back uh, kind of beachside uh, feel. It's really a little village. There's really, there's not much there. Uh, there's, there's a little general store and one restaurant, but definitely a cool place to go if you're living in Lincoln City. You come in, coming down on 101, uh, 101 South in Lincoln City. The first area you're going to hit is actually Niatsu, uh, which is an unincorporated area in Lincoln County, uh, and it is more of a lakefront community. You'll you'll see Devil's Lake here in Lincoln City, uh, which is something we'll talk more about here in this video. Definitely unique for the Oregon coast in terms of lakefront living overall, but also the quantity, the volume of lakefront living that you get uh, in Lincoln City on Devil's Lake is really unrivaled. You see how many homes there are, you know, when you zoom in, so many properties all over this lake. Um, and it's beautiful, you know, w when you're on the lake, you don't really even feel like you're at the ocean necessarily. Uh, so it's, it's a r really cool contrast. If you're, 
interested in you know moving to Lincoln City, moving to the Oregon coast, if you want to be near a lake, if you want to be on a lake, Devil's Lake would be a great option, and you're still only going to be a less than 10-minute drive to any of the public access points uh, f for the beach in Lincoln City. But you get through Niatu, and... 101 you can see starts to get pretty close to the coastline and start moving its way south through town the furthest north neighborhood in lincoln city is road's end and road's end is really unique compared to the other neighborhoods in lincoln city uh partly uh because 101 doesn't go right through the middle of it so you hit lincoln city city limits here and actually let's just for context show you what we're talking about here so you, you get into lincoln city and you follow 101 south uh you have to take logan road uh here to get up into road's end and logan road goes right along the ocean front so all along logan road here it's just lined with houses uh and the, these are the you know some of the coolest ocean front houses you know you'll see on the oregon coast so many of these houses you just walk straight down to the beach it's incredible and then Road's End kind of terraces up a few blocks. There's some slight elevation here. So all of these houses, uh, you know, one way or another have ocean views. Um, so definitely, again, a very unique dynamic, a very sought after area. A lot of second homes, a lot of vacation homes in this area. Some full-time residents too, for sure. Uh, but Road's End is an area that tends to stand out for a lot of people uh, when they hold it up against other neighborhoods in Lincoln City. Uh, you have this north side of town outside of Road's End where you have Wacoma and Ocean Lake. So you'll get a lot of consistency along this stretch of 101 here. Everything inside of 101 to the west, you can see, you know, maybe 10 blocks, anywhere from, you know, 3, 4 blocks to maybe 10, 12 blocks from the ocean. So anywhere you're living here in, in this section, you're going to have great beach access. There are a lot of hotels, motels. Uh, 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 bed and breakfast, you know, type cottages, uh, you know, basically lodging options in this area. So a lot of the area right on the ocean is more lodging, commercial lodging, where again, up in Road's End, you know, these are all just single family homes in there. So that's a big difference. You're definitely more in town once you get into this area. Some development on the east side of the highway too. You'll see this as a, you know, consistent theme up and down uh, Lincoln City. Uh, a lot of people want to be inside of 101 on the west side, you know, walkable to the beach, basically, and a much better chance for ocean views. But if you're moving to Lincoln City, if you like Lincoln City, and you find something on the east side of the highway, there's going to be a lot of great options. And you're you're not going to be more than a five-minute drive to the ocean, to the beach. And if you're on the east side of the highway, you're right up on the lake, too. So a little quicker, easier access to the lake. The hospital's over here as well, Samaritan North. Uh, right there. So, you know, if, if medical care, health care is a concern, if you want to be near a hospital, this north side of Lincoln City, it is right there. Uh, and then again, you have this Devil's Lake area as well on the north side of town. You can see 101 continues south here. You get into an area called De Lake, uh, just another neighborhood. So Lincoln City, actually, fun fact, was five or six different unincorporated communities up until the 1960s, and then they all became one city, uh, I think, in 1962. And so that is probably the biggest explanation for the inconsistency you know, from neighborhood to neighborhood, not in consistency so much in terms of what you can get or the age, because again, all through here is going to be really consistent aesthetically. You're not really going to notice a difference, but there's no like cohesive, again, downtown area. You know, they've all just kind of converged into one another. Probably the area that is like a downtown area that actually a lot of people would visualize or think of is this stretch of 101 through Ocean Lake, just because of all the storefronts, you know, just these, you know, one level stores, candy stores, um, you know, shops, galleries, boutiques, things like that through this stretch. So that's probably what most people would think of, but it's not incredibly walkable. You're right on the highway. There's definitely towns on the Oregon coast that provide, you know, more of a main street shopping walkable experience so i digress moving our way south here again you're going to get into de lake and you can see 
you know, a fair amount of development on the east side of the highway here. But I, I mean, again, you're, you're talking a very quick drive over to the beach if you are living over here. This is where uh, Devil's Lake Road is, or East Devil's Lake Road. So where you can go up uh, the backside or the east side of the lake. So good lake access, um, you know, in this kind of central Lincoln City area in DeLake. Uh, probably the crown jewel of Lincoln City. Uh, I mean, you know, everybody's different in terms of their preferences and what they would be looking for. Again, Road's End definitely tends to be a favorite, but Nell Scott in here, and in particular, Olivia Beach. This is an area uh, that has a ton of vacation rentals second homes, things like that, uh, but a lot of vacation rentals. And it's one of the only areas where you can outright do short-term rentals in Lincoln City. A lot of these homes are going to be larger and on the more expensive side. So whether you're coming as, as coming in as an investor, you know, uh, maybe it's a home you would occupy part of the year uh, and then rent out other parts of the year if you want to do like Airbnb. This is going to be a really good area for that but again it's generally you're going to be spending a little bit more let's see if we can get a street view see so yeah, I mean you can see a lot of these homes have been developed more recently you see this kind of community park here super cool um, we don't have to go around all of this but you can just see as an example the size of these homes uh, just the cool architecture uh, consistency in terms of architecture really popular neighborhood really popular area and that's Olivia Beach so this is this stretch from southwest coast and you get onto the south side of Lincoln City uh, when you cross the D River which is actually the world's shortest river uh, believe it or not so this is the lake Devil's Lake and this is the D River going out to the ocean so that's kind of cool. So you get south of here, you're on the south side. And if you're on the east side of the highway, you're in southeast, west side, southwest, and then, you know, similarly, northeast, northwest. Um, so if you see an address, you can kind of visualize, you know, where that might be uh, by the, you know, by the directional, uh, by the directional address. So, uh, oh, I, I, another thing, too, I definitely should point out. So we talked about Olivia Beach there in Nelscott. Uh, very sought after, really cool, beautiful homes in this area. Uh, but back north just a little bit on 101, you have the Lincoln City Outlets. So one of the best outlet malls on the Oregon coast could be the best outlet, uh, outlet mall on the Oregon coast. A ton of stores in here, big tourist attraction. But if you're living in Lincoln City, you're spending a lot of time there. Really good place to go shop. If, if you like shopping, you know, there's a lot of good brands, really popular brands in here. Um, you know, and obviously being outlet stores, you're going to get a little bit of a better deal shopping there so that's cool to have if you're living in kind of the central part of lincoln city you know or in this you know like nelscott area or you know even just north up in ocean lake wacoma uh, the outlets are really close right in the middle of town if you do go to the outlets make sure you go to salt awesome coffee shop maybe maybe it'll show me a picture here really uh cool place to hang out you can see just kind of some of the style and decor great coffee they have little knickknacks things uh you can pick up while you're there too so yeah salt's a great spot zooming back out and moving further south from nelscott in this olivia beach area you're going to get into taft taft kind of feels like its own little town in and of itself and you, you know looking at taft you can kind of see how this was once its own town uh there's a a hill here that you go up and over where you pass the inn at spanish head which is probably the most popular maybe the nicest, I'm not sure, resort in Lincoln City. If you go uh, south of Nelscott and Olivia Beach, you go up and over the hill, and you come back down into Taft. So this is a little bit isolated because of that hill and has its own, you know, kind of unique feel to it. There's some really good stuff here in Taft. Otis Cafe, great back great breakfast spot. Um, definitely have to check that out if you're in town. You have the Rusty Truck Brewing, cool spot. You have some other restaurants, uh, not a ton of shops necessarily, some little boutiques, things like that. You have the Glass Blowing Center. Um, this is really popular, definitely a big tourist attraction. Uh, but probably the coolest thing in Taft, my favorite thing in this area, probably one of my favorite spots at least to stop and hang out when I'm in, when I'm in town uh, is going to be the Pines, the Pines Dine rather. So 
I'll pull up a picture here. It's this huge food hall, like cafeteria, where you can go in and eat, but surrounded on the exterior are these food carts. So there's a bar in there. That's the outside. Of course, it's raining in this picture. Uh, yeah, cool signage, cool bar inside. I'm trying to find the outside. Yeah, well, lining both sides and the backside uh, of that building are these food trucks. And I mean, there's some really good food there. It's awesome. Uh, definitely a cool spot to hang out if you're visiting or if you live there. I mean, a ton of, ton of great offerings in terms of food. So uh, living around Taft here, there's actually not as much commercial. Uh, there's really not as much residential development necessarily. So this is a little bit of a smaller pocket. I mean, there, you know, there's some homes in here. You have, uh, you know, this is like a manufactured home park or mobile park. Uh, you do have some oceanfront here and then some homes in here. Uh, but there's also like some condos and hotels in this area as well. And so, you know, this is an area where you might see a house pop up. It's probably not a neighborhood where a lot of people say, I want to live right there in Taft. Uh, but even if you lived at Olivia Beach in Nelscott or further, you know, further north in town, you can get down here in 10 minutes. Depending on traffic, traffic can get a little heavy on 101 coming through here, as you could imagine. Uh, but moving south here, we got a couple more neighborhoods to look at in Lincoln City. So you cross Drift Creek here, you get down onto the Silets Bay, and there starts to become a pretty clear distinction between you know, this section to the south, uh, which really this is kind of the end of town, um, but everything north. So once you go through Taft, you cross again the creek here. Uh, there's one more little area uh, that we got to talk about. Uh, and the, fur the town furthest south actually in city limits, or rather the neighborhood furthest south in city limits is Cutler City. Uh, so you can see just a few blocks uh, you're not going to get a ton of water views unless you live on one of these little streets that poke out here. Um, very flat. I think it's probably pretty low elevation too. So I don't know if that's something that, you know, you can see there's wetlands here. So that's something that's on people's radar. Uh, some, some people more than others at least. But it's a cool little area. Smaller homes. Definitely more modest for sure. Uh, but you're outside of town a little bit too. So it's going to be a little quieter, a little more private in particular as it pertains to tourism. So... This whole stretch from Taft up to Road's End. I mean, all, you know, the, the whole beach through here, all the restaurants. I mean, you know, the casino, obviously. When tour, you know, when, when the weather's nice, and in particular, you know, some of the nicer times of year, these areas are going to get really crowded, really busy with tourists. People, you know, stay in the week, stay in the weekend, things like that. So you get down into Cutler City, this little area, it's going to be a little more private. So just to show you the, the boundaries again, you can see that's the furthest south in city limits. A little bit of a bonus here. We do have a video on Glen Eden Beach and Lincoln Beach. I'll link to that here. You can check that out if, if you'd like. Um, this is a really cool stretch. Um, there's also this Kernville here. So you go out the uh, Sletz River and there are some homes on the river or kind of up here, a little more of a rural feel up that way, but you're close to town. So if you want to be more in the trees, you know, near a river, if you like fishing, uh, this could be a good spot to land because you're still in town too. But, you, but if you make your way south, just to touch on these areas a little bit, uh, Glen Eden Beach and Lincoln Beach, Again, unincorporated areas, there's really no commercial development in here. There's a couple restaurants in Glen Eden Beach. There is a grocery store on 101 uh, somewhere. Yeah, Chester's right there. It's a little grocery store. Uh, but I don't even think there's a gas station through this stretch. But you can see a couple communities like Seagrove on the east side of the highway. But everything inside of 101 on the west side in Glen Eden Beach and Lincoln Beach you know, basically oceanfront. I mean, a, a lot of these areas that aren't right on the beach, um, you can walk or, you know, it's a quick drive to the beach. You also have the Glen Eden Beach State Rec area. So this little park here, definitely more private. You know, the tourism, I, I think, is going to exist here for sure. There's going to be vacation rentals and things like that through this stretch, but a lot quieter a lot less busy through through here. And then Salishan is actually a gated resort community. So HOA, no vacation rentals, 
uh, definitely some second homes, but a lot of full-time residents, um, a, a lot of folks, uh, you know, 55 plus, you, you know, retired or nearing retirement. Uh, this is a really cool area. Uh, I mean, definitely, definitely one of a kind for the Oregon coast. You know, this type of resort community gated all up here is wooded and there's some elevation here around the golf course. You can see a little bit up here on the hill east of the highway too. But one of the coolest things about Salishan is this Salishan spit. So this long narrow stretch of homes just right there. You have behind you to the east, you have the bay, the Siletz Bay, and you're just right on the ocean there. So nothing like this on the Oregon coast, really cool. Uh, you know, definitely some extra insurance, uh, you know, <laughs> definitely gonna wanna have some extra insurance uh, probably living in this area. Definitely starting at a million dollars, a lot of them are gonna exceed $2 million. Really cool area, again, very unique for the Oregon coast. So you go south of Lincoln Beach here, you know, you go around this Fogarty Creek um, rec area and then Boiler Bay. I think there's like, you know, a couple houses in here, but now you're getting into Depot Bay. So the next town to the south. So that's Lincoln City. Uh, hope that was helpful. Uh, kind of a unique layout uh, overall, just being so narrow north to south really long stretch here. I mean, it can take you 20, 25 minutes from the north side of town to the south side of town, depending on how many lights you hit and traffic and things like that. So if you're living here in Rhodes End, it's not necessarily all that convenient to get south of town or vice versa. Being centrally located is great, but you know, you're going to have the same options for the most part north, south, as far as the type and style of living, type and style of homes the quantity of restaurants you know there's a lot that's centrally located like the outlets for example but probably the main uh, grocery shopping actually is going to be up here basically in Rhodes End uh, Wacoma in this strip mall development in here and that's going to be your Safeway so it's going to be a little bit less convenient probably for groceries if you're on the south side of town but we could go into a lot of details. Again, if you want to learn more about Lincoln City, if you like Lincoln City or, or areas like it, and you want to learn more about areas that are going to fit you and kind of what your needs are, what your wants are, and see what's going to check the most boxes for you, give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, click the link down below in the description of the video, schedule a Zoom call with us, and on that call we can talk about your needs, your preferences, your wants, all of that good stuff, put together a game plan for you. Uh, and so when the time comes, we can really hit the ground running as far as focusing in on the areas that make the most sense for you. If this video is helpful, make sure to hit the like button, it helps us out a lot. If you wanna get more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and tap that little bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. As always, we really appreciate you watching. Until next time, we'll talk to you later.